What, what do you do down in this mine? I'm a geologist. You're a geologist? Yeah, I study the So, we, 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 did you hear the bump we had while we were having a lecture just now? Yeah, I did hear the bump. This, uh, uh, just tell me what happened now. What happened now is... Is a bump. I'm not sure where it's coming from. I was thinking it's coming from somewhere in the 12055. We have a race line just next to this place. Is it something we should have been worried about? Us here. Yeah. We should be worried about for the sake of the people on the other side, but right. not yes. for our own safety. Yeah. yeah. But then it didn't seem like a major bump. Then but they must happen all the time. Sorry? They must happen all the time. Not all the time. It depends. Some, yeah, it does happen because I've realized some of the people are actually used to it in the minds. I used to run around when it happens, but then they tell me, no, you just have to remain calm. And if there's something critical, just remain calm and wait until we get help. How long have you been with uh, Anglo Gold? I started with Anglo Gold last year, 2007. This is your first mine? Yeah, this is my first mine. You enjoy the work? Yeah, I do enjoy the work so far. How long did it take before you stopped being nervous underground? <laughs> every time you heard a bang? I think it took me about five visits. Then I was fine, but I think I was not really nervous about the actual conditions or the face. I was nervous about the cage when it's moving up and down and... Yeah, it used to scare me a lot, thinking it might just plunge down. <laughs> Tell me, how, how, how did this gold come to be here? Okay, what we've been told at school is that uh, about mm, 2.9 to 3.1 billion years ago, this whole vet area was sort of like an inland basin where you had sediments being deposited and then they were deposited on top of each other as layers of sediments. That's where you had your deposition of the vets conglomerate. But the say is that you had rivers, channels carrying sediments and the actual pebbles of the river and then depositing them in the basin. And then there's two theories to that. There's the place of gold and there's a very a great debate about how the gold actually came about. The place that theory says that the rivers which were depositing the sediments actually carried the gold from the higher areas in the land and then depositing the gold into the basin. So the source of gold was from old rocks higher in the land. And the hydrothermal theory says that actually had the sediments being deposited in the basin and then there were fluids as they were buried there was pressure and then there was fluid, fluid mobility within the basin and that uh, the sediments and concentrated the gold within the sediments or the conglomerates that we call them. Okay, well I think we've missed the last half of the lecture. My estimation is 4,000 tons from the whole Your target is to do what? To try to transport 4,000 tons to surface, to the plant every day. Every year? Every day. Every day? Yeah. Agreed. How much gold does that produce? What? How, many, how many grams of gold come out of that? Our grade is running at around uh, between 10 and 11 grams per ton at the moment. That's pretty high. Yeah. That's high grade right ore. So you're going to have to keep on going deeper to get more and more of it. <laughs> But then we just have to find out if there's more and more bits depends at all this. How, long, how far do you think the reef goes down? Ooh, I'm not sure. But apparently from what I've heard from the one guy said we might actually have still have the same amount that we mined on the ground. The problem is it's too deep for us to access and to access that it means more infrastructure and more capital. Right. I'm going to have to get you to say that again when we don't have the whistle. The more difficult it gets to access the gold and as you go down your temperatures increase as well so you need a more efficient cooling systems and... You need to get another snow making machine like they have at Impening. Yeah. So you need to put in a lot of money to make for such big projects to go down further.